Whoa! Oh, sorry. Sorry I'm late, man. So I want to talk about, let's just do it right here. I want to talk about um, rotational work. And, yeah. Now, we talked about work in a linear mechanical system, and what you're doing is you're applying a force and moving in a distance. Well, in rotational systems, the force-like quantity is torque. And what I'm going to do is if I apply a torque, I'm not doing any work until I actually move something. And what I do is I move it through an angle. So rotational work is a product of a torque applied times the angle you move it through. And you can see, I'm also moving a force. I'm applying a force, and I'm moving in a certain distance. Same kind of equation. You're just using different variables to describe it. So let me write that down. It's the best part about this college. We have chalk all over the place. Let's see. Yeah. Work is equal to rotational work is equal to torque. And remember, that's that how times this. This is the angle you move through. It's called theta. It's a, another Greek letter. All right. So work is torque times theta. It's still going to give you units of foot-pounds, English units, and Newton meters, uh, joules, in metric units. And remember that torque is force times moment arm. Now, the units of the angle are different. Theta is your angle. And theta has units of any kind of angle. It can have units of uh, degrees, you know, 360 degrees in a circle. You can use those. It can have units of revolutions. You know, I can move through one revolution, and I can move through one 360th of a revolution, which would be a degree. Or it can have the most important unit. It can have radians. And we abbreviate that with rad. Uh, let me tell you how this works. There's a circle. And we move. The circle's got a radius, r. And if we move through an angle, we'll call that theta. And when we move through that angle theta, we move a distance along the perimeter. We'll call that s. And you can see that as the angle increases, the distance we move along the perimeter increases. And they're proportional. If I move through 90 degrees, well, I move through this much perimeter. If I double the angle to 180 degrees, move all the way over to here, I double the distance I move too. So they're proportional. So here's the equation for an angle, the simplest equation. The angle theta is just equal to the distance you move along the perimeter of a circle divided by the radius of that circle. And they're proportional. If I have a smaller circle, I'll have a smaller radius, smaller perimeter. That's the way it works out. Now, this isn't going to have any units, right? I mean, I've got a unit of distance over distance. I've got meters over meters, inches over inches. They're going to cancel out. So we have no units. But we've got to remember that it's an angle. So we call them radians, R-A-D-I-A-N-S, or rad for short. And we can drop it when we put it into an equation, but it's the pure units, it's units of two distances. And that's what you have to do when you put in the equation. Now, if I move once around a circle, if I go all the way around, the circumference of a circle is 2 pi times the radius. So for one revolution, theta, distance along the perimeter divided by the radius. And for one revolution, that's 2 pi times the radius divided by the radius. They cancel out. There are 2 pi radians in one revolution of a circle. So that's how we convert between revolutions and radians. Let's try an example.